Are you interested in the Sawyer Squeeze water filter? Whether you are an outdoorsman or just getting your emergency preps together, we all want safe, clean drinking water. If you don't have a water filter, this could be a great portable option for you. This is the first video in a short series on everything you need to know about the Sawyer Squeeze. So if you already own the Sawyer Squeeze, make sure that you check those videos out. In this video, I want to show you what's in the box and give you a beginner's guide to how it works. The rest of the series will go more in depth on how to get the most out of your Sawyer Squeeze. Stay tuned. You just got to get prepared. This is the Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. You are probably looking at this product because you don't want to drink contaminated water and get you and your family sick. There are three questions that go through my mind when I'm looking at a water filter. The first question is, does it work? My experience is that Sawyer water filters do what they say they're going to do. That is, remove bacteria, protozoa, and cysts. My only evidence is that I've never gotten sick after using one of their products. And that's the whole point of using a filter, so we don't get sick. If you are interested in big words and numbers, you can check out Sawyer's website at sawyer.com and they'll be able to educate you more on those big words than I can. The second question that comes to mind is how much does this cost? I ordered this off Amazon and paid $29.97. There were three different options on that page when I was looking at it. This was the option with two pouches and it was the least expensive. So that's the option that I went with. It kind of shocked me that I could get such an amazing product for so cheap. Don't tell Sawyer, but I probably would have paid more. Because they are so inexpensive, you may be tempted to get more than one. It looks like it would be a great gift for Christmas or for a birthday for someone, or also a few for yourself. Maybe one for your camping gear, one for your emergency preps, maybe one in your car. Like I said, 30 bucks for clean water and peace of mind. I'll put a link in the description down below if you're interested in picking one or more up for yourself. The third question is how does this work? That is the point of this video and the whole series. So let's start by opening this box and introducing the star of the show. Drum roll, please. Okay, let's open this up. As we unbox this, here we go. Here is the star of the show, the Sawyer Squeeze Filter. And as you can see, it's a nice size filter. It's got this fun little cap on the end of it that twists off. And a couple things that I like to be aware of is that it does have this gasket on the inside of it that you can see down in there. This is removable. So you wanna make sure that this doesn't disappear because you'll need it to make a good seal on the bottle. But if you do happen to lose it, there usually is, oh, yep, there's another one inside of the cap. And so that's kind of a backup if you lose the main one. But that is something you want to be aware of. So that is the Sawyer filter. Right, the next thing I want to look at in the box are the pouches. I mentioned that this was the package that had two of them in it. And they are each 32 ounces. And if you are looking for directions in the box, they actually keep them here on the bag. So this is where you'll find out how to use in those directions. And on the other side is backwashing and storage. And so that's where Sawyer is keeping their directions. Um, as I've looked at these bags before, there was an interesting note. It says, filter will need initial wetting and flow will increase after initial uses. This is normal. So just remember that direction there as you start using your product, that it takes using the product for a few times before it actually starts to work or it gets working better each time you use it when you're starting out. And then the other thing it mentioned is Avoid freezing this filter. Freezing may ruin this filter. If unit is, is suspected of being frozen, discontinue use and replace it. So those are just two different notes to be aware of as you are using this product. The next item to look at is just actually the caps that go with the bottles. And I know it's a little thing, but it's kind of a nice feature that if you're at a water source and you fill up all of your clean bottles, you can fill up these with dirty water and take them back to your camp or, or carry them or whatever you're doing with them and have an additional two liters of water with you. The next items in the box are the inline hydration pack adapters. And these actually have multiple purposes. One of them is that they can be attached to the filter and put and used with a bladder as part of your inline hydration system. But they can also be used with your gravity system. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about that 
a little later in the video. The next item to pull out is what Sawyer is calling their mesh bag with a hanging loop. Now this could be used in multiple ways. One would be just to store all of the items in, but it's also part of their gravity system. You can see how it has this little loop here that can be hung by a tree or however, whatever you have to hang it on. And I'll show you how that works. And the other part of the gravity system is just this little bit of hose that they've given us to be able to put the gravity system together. The final item in the box is the cleaning plunger. And this is, as the name implies, how we clean the filter. So this will be the last item we look at today, but this is how one of the ways that Sawyer has given us to clean the filter. There are two words that I think really describe the Sawyer squeeze filter. The first one is simplicity. Basically, dirty water is gonna flow through the filter and give us clean water on the other side. That's simple. The second word is versatile. Sawyer didn't make this filter to be only used in one way. I think they said, how many different ways can we make this filter work? And I'm gonna show you a few of those ways today. Let's filter some water. Let's start by using one of the included bags to begin with. Now, if you're having a boil alert in your community, you could just take this bag and go to your kitchen sink and fill it up. That would be great and then attach the filter to use it. Or if you're in the mountains, you could go to a stream or a river and use the moving current to fill it up. The hardest way to fill up these bags is in still water. So this container here or in a lake is not ideal. If you just put the bag down in the water, it doesn't really want to fill up very well. You can try to blow air into it and sometimes that helps a little bit to get more in. But the easiest way that I found is actually just to get a different container and use that to pour water into the bag. And then once you have the bag full of water, you can attach your filter to the threads of the filter, or sorry, attach your filter to the threads of the bottle just nice and snug, not super tight. And then you don't want extra water in there because you don't want that to go into your bottle. You open the cap of the filter and we will squeeze out some water. Ooh, that came out quicker than I thought. And there we go, we are filtering water. Now Sawyer recommends that you don't, you just squeeze or roll from the top, but you don't overdo how you are squeezing the bag. No, not too aggressively. But as you can see, that's flowing great. And that is how you would use the bags that come with the system. And you can see right there, the comparison between the dirty water and the clean water. And what that tells you is that the dirt is right inside here in the filter. Another simple way to use the Sawyer Squeeze filter is to use a water bottle. Now, smart water bottles have been used for quite a while now in conjunction with the Sawyer Squeeze because the thread type is the same thread that you'll find on their bladder and the same thread that works with the Sawyer Squeeze filter. So you can, you can do this in the same manner. You can use this as your dirty water bottle and you can fill it up however that works for you. For me, it's this little cup filling it up. But you, if you have a stream or whatever you're getting your water from, you can use that and then it just twists right on. And then you're able to, once again, either drink from it or you can squeeze it into another container to be able to fill up additional water bottles or water containers. And as you can see, that is filtering great. Once in a while, as you're using it, it will compress like that. So you just let a little bit of air back into it and then you're able to tighten it back up and continue filtering. Okay. And that is how you would use a bottle with your, your Sawyer Squeeze. Next, I'd like to show you how this system can turn into a gravity filter. First of all, what we're going to do is take our filter and attach this gray piece to it. Then we'll take this hose that they've included and attach that to the end. And then we'll attach the blue end to the other side. I've already filled up the water bottle so that it's ready to go. 
So we're going to screw that onto there. And then this nice little mesh sack that they've included, we're going to actually slide the bottle or bladder inside of it and take the little squeeze thing there and tie it down. Okay, so now I've got this little stand I'm going to be using and attaching that to there. And now let's see if we can filter water with gravity. So as we unsnip that, I know that's not this, the amount of flow we had when we were squeezing it, but I'm not doing any work. Gravity, and if I was letting it hang down lower, I think it would go faster because if I raise it up higher, it stops. And so if I was to go lower, it would go even quick, more quickly. But that's pretty impressive. You can set your gravity system up and let it go to work while you do other chores and not have to worry about squeezing or filtering the water by hand, but just let gravity do the work. All right, I didn't feel like that was a very fair representation of how well the Sawyer Squeeze works as a gravity filter. So I put my stand up here on the table and I just wanted to show one more time just how well and how simple this is to set up as a gravity system. So you just pop the top there and just allow it to filter into your container, whatever you're whatever you're using to store your clean water in. And so that's a little bit better of how accurate or how the Sawyer Squeeze works as a gravity filter. After a while of using the filter, you're gonna notice that the flow of water is going to start to slow down. And your first reaction might be, oh, I just need to squeeze harder, but that's not the right answer. What's happening is the dirt and particles are being trapped on the filter and it needs to be cleaned. This is what the cleaning plunger is for that's included in the kit. What you're going to do is you have clean water that you either have filtered or that you have at home and you're going to fill the plunger with clean water. And Sawyer recommends that the first time you push it through, you squeeze very hard to push all of the particles out and not so that all there's not a, a path that's created. You want it to be pushed hard. So you squeeze hard. Now you can see right there how much dirt has already come out of the filter. And we're going to continue this until clean water is coming through the filter. And all we're doing is the plunger and the Sawyer squeeze have a place here where they connect. And you attach or place that on there like that and then push. And then we'll do it again. And just keep going through this process until clear, clean water is coming out the end. Now it's only taking a few, and it's not really a hard process, it just needs to be done every so often to clean those membrane fibers off. And I hope the water that you're using for getting your water is not as dirty as what I'm demonstrating with today because this is pretty filthy water. Okay, that looked like, let me try one more. That looked like clean water coming through there. And that is how, or one way to clean the Sawyer Squeeze is just by using this neat little plunger that's included and pushing the dirt the opposite way as the flow arrow shows and that's how you clean it. I hope this video helps you to see how simple and versatile this little filter is. And if you're interested in learning more about the Sawyer Squeeze, make sure you check out the link at the end of this video to see more tips and tricks. Once again, I'd like to thank you for your time and may God bless you as you prepare every needful thing. Thank you.